the retraction stroke of the regenerative circuit. We can calculate this pump flow. Uh, the way it is connected, you can look at this directional control valves. The uh, flow from the blank end, return flow is going to the um, reservoir, and then the pump flow directly go to the uh, the um, rod end of the cylinder. So QP we can calculate the area of the rod end which is the area of the piston minus area of the rod uh, times the um, velocity of retraction. So retraction like that. So velocity of retraction like that. So velocity of retraction we can say QP divided by a P minus a R. Now, similarly, we can calculate the um, load capacity and see what happened uh, with the load capacity. So if we calculate the load, uh, now uh, this is going to the reservoir, the return line, so there is no back pressure. The only thing we have here is that P, so there will be no pressure here. Basically, you can think of zero. If we think that the lines and the directional control valve losses are zero, then there will be zero pressure going to the atmosphere, vented to the outside. This is a vented reservoir, so it's, it's not going to have any back pressure in theory. Now, if we want to calculate the load, we can say F equals F load would be the pressure times the area, which is a P minus A R. Now, if we want to calculate, let's say, horsepower, uh, power, so power would be um, load times the velocity of retraction. So load we calculated P times AP minus AR times the velocity, which is QP divided by AP minus AR. Now, if you look at it, P times QP is the power which is the uh, power of the pump. So this is the power of the pump. So similar thing we have found uh, for the uh, extension uh, stroke. Now there is another relationship typically developed for uh, the retraction circuit. The velocity ratio, uh, the velocity of um, retraction, the extension velocity, and retraction velocity ratio which is basically if you divide the um, extension velocity we have developed QP by um, AR so it's gonna be um, basically AP minus AR by AR so if you just simplify that AP by AR minus 1 so that is another equation sometimes we use so if if the um, you can see if the piston area is twice bigger than the uh, rod uh, area, then um, it's gonna be the extension and retraction speed is gonna be same. So we can change this piston area to control the velocity we want for the extension and retraction. So that's the purpose of this equation number two.